Thanks, Helen. That was very helpful. And I do have uh, a couple of questions. But before I do that, if you can click on the Welcome tab again, um, I think one of the things that may seem um, a little daunting about a fan page is um, the graphics and how very good these pages look. And we at Collision Buzz strongly encourage you to build out your page and your collision repair brand um, using this on the fan pages. Um, but you may not have the talent in, in your company to do that. Um, but uh, Collision Buzz has partnered with two companies that can help you in this place. Um, Helen, of course, is one of them with Sociality Squared. And you can reach her at Helen at Facebook Ads. And the other company um, that's really good with small businesses is the KBuzz. Um, they can be found at thekbuzz.com. And um, they have a program for, uh, that's especially done for small businesses as well. Um, so I, both Helen and the KBuzz are available to help with these things. So I just want to point that out. Um, there's a lot of fancy graphics on there. And that may seem overwhelming if you're not terribly familiar with Facebook. Um, so go ahead and go back to the wall. And um, Helen, what I wanted to ask you was, um, how do we know what's happening on our fan page? How can we sort of measure fan interaction and, and the quality of the um, end consumer's experience on uh, the fan page? That's a great question, and also another point of why fan pages are better than groups. I'm going to scroll down, and you'll see this box right here called Insights. And as a fan page admin, I can see this. And this is only visible to admins. And what this does, this little blurb right here, it shows us how, uh, how we're doing on our fan page, how responsive our fans are, and how engaged they are. This post quality of 5.2 and 4 stars is good. And what it's based on is a percentage of fans interacting within the last seven days compared to other fan pages in the same product or in the same category and with the same number of fans or a similar number of fans. So basically, you can quickly gauge how well your fan page is doing against other fan pages in the similar categories and fan counts. But additionally, if you click this See All button, you can get a lot of rich, rich information on your fans. I've already preloaded it for you. So here is the Insights interface for admins of fan pages. And you can get a lot of really rich information. Like down here, you can see the demographic breakdown of how many uh, fans you have, their ages, and the ratio of male to female. On here, there's a lot of different uh, options, whether you want total fans, new, fan, new fans, page views. And what I've got selected is demographics. So you can easily look, am I reaching my target audience? Am I reaching who I want to reach? And you can see, it's not surprising, that you know the automotive aftermarket is uh, primarily males from anywhere from 25 to 54 years old. Um, but you can easily and quickly look and see, are you reaching your fans? And, then up and if I can speak on behalf of all collision repairs and people in the aftermarket, women are welcome. Please come and join us. It's a very, lo it's a very lonely place here with this kind of a population. <laughs> uh, and you can also see, after you have your fans, you know, are they engaging with you? Uh, for your total interactions, your comments, your wall posts, your likes, you know, what are you doing right? You know, on this day. Uh, Collision Buzz got 14 uh, total interactions. You know, what did they post that day? Is that something that they can replicate? You know, this day, did they post any content or maybe content uh, that wasn't well responded? What, what are we doing right and what can we improve on? Your fans are telling you, and right here is a great window into, you know, how to optimize your content and optimize your presence and really, you know, engage and get a, a good look at what your fans want and respond to that. Yeah, that's very helpful. Um, and so I think that to summarize here, you've got, you've got data insight into interactivity on the page, which helps you benchmark yourself against other fan pages. But more importantly, just gives you a sense that you're, you're doing the right things and you're, you're creating a buzz on your, your fan page. Um, and the other key point I think you brought up is, is the virality, not only the virality of the wall and um, how that interaction with with customers or fans, potential customers, um, translates back to their own walls, um, but also 
um, that these fan pages can be Googled. So if they Google your business, they'll find your fan pages um, uh, out there, and that will be, that's a great place for them to sort of ask questions or to explore your business and learn more about it. And it provides something that's far more interactive than a static web page um, can offer. So I think at this point, if uh, you're a collision repairer and you're convinced that it might be a good idea to migrate your group to a fan page so you can take advantage of this viral functionality, um, Helen, I think my biggest question is, is if I have 500 fans on my group, I'm worried about losing them all and having to start all over again. So what suggestions might you have to make that um, pain a little bit um, easier on, a, on the transition? That's a great question and one I get a lot. So if you have a group with members in it and you want to set up a Facebook fan page and you want to get those group members to become fans of your fan page, how do you go about doing that? Well, what I'd recommend is messaging your group members because they can go into the inboxes and let them know, you know that all of your efforts are you're refocusing your efforts and uh, dedicating it to a fan page and to get the latest updates you know, for them. Uh, they need to become a fan of you on Facebook and you know, put the link in there uh, so that they can easily find your fan page. Also, I'd give them a cutoff date. Also, I'd give them a cutoff date. You know, at the end of the month or at X date, we're going to terminate this group and really dedicate all of our efforts to our fan page. Now, I would message them a couple times. You don't want to spam them, of course, but do a reminder, like, you know, three more days to go and this group is going to be uh, deleted. And as hard as it's going to be to delete that group, um, go ahead and do it because you really want to consolidate your efforts and really maximize them with, with the fan page. So that, that's what I would recommend. Great, Helen, thank you. That's some very, very helpful advice. And again, um, Helen uh, if you, or the KBuzz um, are available to help you um, with your fan page. Um, Helen can be reached at helen at um, fbadzs.com. Or is that fbadz, right? Yeah, fbadz.com. All right, well, in any event, um, you can um, find Helen on Collision Buzz. And what I want to do is encourage you uh, to ask questions on our fan page. Become a fan of Collision Buzz on Facebook. Feel free to ask questions. Um, you can find Helen there. You can find all of us at Collision Buzz here to answer your questions about social media marketing and, and helping collision repairs uh, effectively market themselves to end consumers um, in the social media world. Um, so please become a fan. Feel free to ask questions. I want to thank Helen for taking time to help us out this morning. Thank you, Helen. You're very welcome. And uh, we look forward to uh, joining you again in another uh, Collision Buzz uh, webinar adventure. Thanks.